Now, to understand how significant the BlackRock shift is, we need to get a sense of the scale that BlackRock controls. Seven trillion dollars in investments, more than anybody else. It's amongst the biggest investors in the global blue chips. Four percent or more of Apple, McDonald's, City, BOA, nearly five percent of Chevron and Exxon. Climate activists say BlackRock hasn't used its heft for good. They have targeted the company and its CEO over and over again. One study found BlackRock voted in favour of sustainability proposals just 10% of the time. On that measure, it's near the bottom of the rankings of institutional investors. So let's talk about this. Joining me is Bruno Sada. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. He's the president of CDP, non-profit working to increase the environmental disclosures. Let me put it again. How can climate change adversely affect economies and companies? The sort of things we were talking about. In a variety of ways, and at CDP, you know, our main vehicle is actually we get disclosures from over 8,400 of the world's companies representing, uh, representing over 50% of global market cap. So we hear it from companies themselves along with investors. Uh, just last year, uh, over $250 billion of stranded asset risk. So capital assets that will depreciate in value uh, potentially all the way down to zero if the purpose of that asset is, is diminished or eliminated from the economy, uh, a thermal coal uh, was uh, was recently mentioned. But if I mean, th th someone like BlackRock, the announcement is huge. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a bit like turning around an oil tanker. You know, when BlackRock doesn't just it can't just suddenly divest itself of those of those shares. It would be it would be carnage. And that's not what they're saying. What they're saying is they need management and boards from all large companies to start taking climate change seriously in the way they make decisions. Uh, disclosure, for sure, is a uh, first step. No company these days, a listed company, especially a high emitter, can be taken seriously if they hide behind the lack of strong regulations around climate disclosures. But how, uh, you know, companies all over are aware of this. They're falling over themselves to give us their transparency on climate change issues and what their rules are. I mean... Uh, well, to date, for example, only 75% uh, of the S&P 500 uh, discloses meaningful climate data. So we're still, uh, you know, we're still missing a quarter of... Right, a... but, but when you say only 75%, I mean, A, 75% is a huge number, it's three <laughs> quarters, and B, I'll bet your lunch in a restaurant of your choice that all the major, the top 100 companies all disclose. Not quite, but it's a bit oh, more than like seven. <laughs> looks like I'm buying your lunch. <laughs> That's right. Disclosure is the first step. Clearly, it's not enough. And what do you want? What do you need? Well, what we need is meaningful action behind the disclosure. So transparency is important so that we can keep score and see how fast progress is happening. Climate change is here today. I mean, this is not a, a future risk. This is a present risk. We need, uh, you know, we need things to move at an unprecedented, unprecedented scale, mm -hmm. frankly, at the speed and scale of business. That's why BlackRock's announcement is a strong signal to the financial marketplace of, you know, we need action now uh, uh, and not just words. Good to see